Hey guys, so today we have another Shop My Stash makeup basket video. I've been doing these bi-weekly throughout the spring just because I feel like I have so many products in my collection that I want to be sure I rotate through. So many, so many fun springy products that I want to make sure that I use, so I've been doing these a little bit more frequently, but um, this is such a fun series. It's basically where I go through my collection and shop for products to kind of rediscover for that period of time. I like to pick out about eight products each time. Um, that is exactly how many products I had in my previous basket. So in this first part of the video, I'm going to give you a little recap on the eight products that I've been focusing on over the past two weeks, and then we'll go through my collection and pick out a new set of products. So this past rotation was really all about the pastels. I did have the Clarity Cosmetics Soma Amazing palette in here. This is such a fun spring palette. It is very pastel. You can see it really doesn't go very deep at all, but I ended up using this quite a few times. I am wearing this today. For today's look, I did lay down the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. I find that that helps some of these lighter pastels pop. Then I laid down the, this matte peach shade called Long Time No See all over my lid. Uh, I put some of the pastel yellow Fantastic on the inner corner. And then I basically topped the whole lid with this shimmer right here called Oh Ship. It has like a peachy base and then a greenish gold shift to it. I love how almost like wet and glossy that shade looks. It's it's so, so pretty. All of the shimmers in here are just stunning. I also posted a reel over on my Instagram of a really simple look that I did. It was kind of a halo eye. I took the shade See You Later to my crease and the inner and outer corners, and then I tapped some of Beach Please in the center of the lid. Super simple look. And then I did take my ColourPop La Playa Single Shadow, which is like a just a pastel mint green on the inner corner, because that is in my pan, those eyeshadows. So that was a really fun like pink and green look. I did another look a couple of days ago, also featuring Long Time No See. I would have to say that's probably one of the shades I dip into the most, just because I love peach eyeshadow. It's one of my favorite colors to wear. But I had that all over the lid. And then again with O Ship in the inner corner. And then I did take my pan, those eyeshadows, mint green, in kind of the inner crease like right in this region here. I've been really enjoying just putting a little pop of color in that region lately. Um, so that was another really simple look. And then I applied my yellow liquid liner that's in my project pan to do a little bit of a wing. So that was a really fun look as well. Then to go with that, I picked out the NYX Epic Wear Liner Stick in the shade Periwinkle Pop. Um, it's a really, really soft, like light pastel purple, and that I am wearing today on my lower lash line and in the waterline, just pretty much smudged it all across. I love that pairing of like a peach and light purple. I think that looks so pretty. And then in both of those other looks that I mentioned, I wore that on the lower lash line as well. So that ended up being a really fun pairing. I'm very happy that I had both of those in the basket this round. So getting into some of the other products, I also had the e.l.f. Sheer Tint Finishing Powder in my makeup basket. Wearing this today on the face, um, you can see I've expanded the pan on this a lot since I rolled it in two weeks ago. I have found with this, I really, really like this powder, but I do find that it does cause my foundation to go like about a half a shade darker. I think just because the shade itself is ever so slightly too dark for me. Um, and this is the lightest shade that it comes in. It's the shade Fair slash Light. So if you are my skin tone or lighter, this powder might be too dark for you. Just a heads up there. But but I, f I feel like once I have it all on and my face is done, I don't really feel like it looks obvious or anything. But I really do love this powder. It's very soft and blurring, but it never looks too heavy. So I really enjoyed that. I also had in the Undone Beauty Water Highlighter. This was a major rediscovery. I feel like I hadn't used this very much in recent months, but I really kind of re-fell in love with this. I talked about this in my number one drugstore products from each brand in my collection. This was my number one Undone Beauty product. Really unique product. It has a very cold feeling on your skin, which does just feel really refreshing when you apply it to your cheekbones. This is the only one of these products that I'm not wearing today, just because I wore the other highlighter that was in my basket today, but I think I did record a demo of this, so I can go ahead and insert that now. But very natural looking highlighter. It's kind of like um, the shade I have is Rose Lit. It's a nice soft like pearly pink toned highlighter and it looks very natural on the cheeks. It really just looks like your skin's natural glow. It doesn't really look like you're wearing any highlighter, but it definitely does still show up. So I really enjoyed that. I think this will be especially great in the summer because of that really refreshing kind of cold feeling on the skin. Really looking forward to continuing to use that. So this is where it's just kind of fun because it really is like I'm shopping my stash. It's almost like I'm discovering these products all over again, even though I've had them in my collection for a while, and it really does, it's, it's just exciting to rediscover products that you've had in your collection, um, and it definitely does take away the desire to 
actually shop, at least for me, I find that it helps me stay excited to use the products that I already own. I also rolled in my Kosas Papaya 1972 Duo. This is a pressed powder blush and highlight duo. I actually got this as a gift with purchase around Black Friday. I think a lot of people got this same thing as a gift with purchase in that sale. But it's a peachy blush and a peachy highlighter. I am wearing both of these today. The blush is very pigmented. I found that I have to use a very light hand with this or else I can go overboard very quickly. I've also experienced a couple of times with this blush the little red dots and I know I'm not alone in that because I've heard other people mention that and a few of you guys have commented that that does happen with this blush. I think it's due to the carmine in here. I think they either reformulated this or or discontinued it or something so this might be the old version I'm not sure um, but it doesn't happen every time but sometimes I do notice those little red dots the main times I've noticed it are actually funnily enough when I'm wearing this with the Kosas foundation but something about that foundation with this blush even though they're both from the same brand it seems they that seems to bring out that flaw in this blush more, but today I'm wearing it with the NYX Born to Glow foundation and I'm not having any red dots just yet. Just kind of a weird phenomenon, so I don't know. And then the highlighter side of this is another very subtle highlighter. I do feel like you can tell that I'm wearing highlighter, especially because my base today is very matte. I'm wearing a matte sunscreen underneath my foundation, so my whole face is looking quite matte. Um, you can see that subtle glow there from the highlighter, but I don't know, it's not my favorite highlighter. I think it's mainly the tone that I'm not in love with. I think it's just a little bit yellowy for my skin, along with the blush having those weird red dots sometimes. I'm, I, I kind of grew to like this duo a little bit less. Definitely not like an everyday duo for me, you know? Another couple of products in the basket, I actually later ended up rolling into my project pan, the Jordana Powder Bronzer in Sunkissed and the CoverGirl Lipstick in Honeyed Bloom. So really enjoyed both of these. The Jordana Powder Bronzer, um, Jordana went out of business in 2020, so you can't get this anymore. This is quite old. I've had this in my collection since I think the summer of 2019. So um, I rolled it into my basket not knowing that I would then be rolling it into my project pan, but I'm glad I did because it did remind me how much I do like this bronzer. If you look up close, you do see little shimmer particles, so it's not a matte bronzer. But in this particular bronzer, it doesn't really bother me because I feel like once it's on my skin, I don't really see any like glitter particles sitting on my skin and I really like the tone of this bronzer. It has kind of like a reddish undertone. I will be rolling this out of my makeup basket along with all these other products but it will be in my project pan until I hit pan on it. That is my goal there so i um, excited to keep using that. And then the CoverGirl Lipstick in Honeyed Bloom I rolled in along with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in Manic. I figured this would be a nice springy pink nude combo and I have been loving this combo. That is what I have on today as well. The Urban Decay Lip Pencil in Manic is a nice kind of soft rosy color. And then the CoverGirl Lipstick in Honeyed Bloom I've been loving. I wore this a ton. It's definitely not a long wearing lipstick so I did find myself reapplying it a couple times throughout the day. But I don't really mind that because it's such a comfortable formula. I don't know if this is like super easy to find anymore. When I go to link it for videos, I'm only able to like reliably find it on Walmart's website. Everywhere else this shade seems a little bit hard to come by, but if you ever do come across the shade Honey Bloom, it is a really really pretty um, like soft pink nude. I especially like it for the springtime. So like I said, that is in my project pan now, so I will be continuing to use it. Yeah, just, just such a beautiful shade. It's a nice light pink nude, but on my fair skin it's not too light to where it looks like I'm like sickly pale, you know, it's just a nice light nude that I can still pull off without looking like I'm anemic. So those are all of the products that were in my makeup basket over the last two weeks, but I am really excited to go ahead and pick out a whole new set of products, so let's go ahead and shop my stash for those things now. Okay, so for starters, in my palette drawer, I think I'm gonna pull out my Sigma Enchanted palette. If you haven't noticed, I'm kind of working my way through the list of palettes from my palettes I'm excited to use this spring video. <laughs> I've kind of worked, I've been working my way through those slowly. So Sigma Enchanted I would like to pull out because I feel like this has not been getting a lot of love for me recently. But this is a really pretty palette for spring and it's a little bit more neutral than some of the other ones I've been working with recently. So yeah, I'm excited about this, especially like this left half with like that really pretty yellowy gold, the soft lilac color, the pinks. So yeah, let's pull this one in. I also think that'll go well with some of my Pan Those Eyeshadow shades. So that's gonna be our palette. Then for the lips, actually thinking I wanna go with my Urban Decay Shine lipstick in the shade 
local. This is kind of like a soft purpley nude. And I'm thinking this will go well with that Sigma Enchanted palette. I, you know, I often go for like a peachy color, um, but I'm thinking with that Enchanted palette, since it has more kind of cool tone springy shades, I think this will go really well. And then the blush that I'm thinking about pulling out also I think will go well with this. So normally I go for a peachy or like a corally color when it comes to spring lip colors, but I'm thinking this will be a good change of pace. Next up for my cheek drawer. So I think I actually want to pull in my Flower Beauty flower pots blush in the shade sweet pea um once again i'm kind of envisioning like a soft cooler tone like baby pink vibe for this spring basket and i think i think that'll go really well with the palette and with that lipstick plus i feel like i've only used this a couple times since i bought it about a month ago so i just want to give this some more use yeah there's those three products you can see them all together i feel like those complement each other really nicely all right so then for highlighters i have in this row i think i'm gonna go with my pixie glowy gossamer duo in the shade subtle sunrise this is a duo so this has two different tones in it and i i actually used this the other day and i was reminded of how much i love this this is such a nice highlighter very smooth definitely reminds me of like the becca highlighters and i've really been liking wearing like pinky toned highlighters this spring so let's go with that all right and then i'm not going to pull out a bronzer because i already have that jordana one in my project pan and i just want to focus on that um but i will go ahead and bring in a powder i've just been kind of rolling between all of these but i feel like i haven't used my kosas cloud set powder in a little while i've had this since like november and i still just feel very neutral about it i don't really feel like it's changing my life but i don't think it's bad either but who knows maybe i'll make some kind of groundbreaking discovery about this powder <laughs> during this rotation we'll see i don't think i'm going to pick out any cream cheek products this go around I feel like I have plenty to focus on. All right, moving right along into this drawer. Hmm, let's see. I think I do want to pull out a foundation. You know what? I'm going to go with my Kosas Revealer Foundation. I really love this foundation. And I just want to give myself permission to use it. Um, I feel like I've been using my Project Pan foundation a lot, the NYX Born to Glow. And I just want to give myself permission to use what I'm loving, even if it is like newer to my collection. Um, so yeah, let's pull this one in. This is just such a nice like medium coverage skin-like foundation. Um, and I really like that it has SPF in it as well. I'm actually not gonna pull out a concealer this time. Just been kind of rotating through all of those. But I am gonna grab this setting spray. This is the Urban Decay Chill setting spray. I mentioned in my recent makeup inventory video that this is my oldest setting spray. And so this is the first one that I would like to use up. I have no idea how much is in there. Obviously the bottle is opaque, so it's really hard to know, but I just kind of want to make this like my default setting spray for now. So let's roll that in. All right, so then I have, ooh, you know what? Before I forget, I'm rolling this in. This is the Becca Light Gleam Primer and Topper Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Refract. So as you can see, the shimmer side is completely separated. I think that side is done for, but the blue side is still good. And I do think this is a really pretty like soft, dusty blue. I think that'll go well with the Sigma palette too. Like this is a nice shade to just kind of put all over the lid and then top with a shimmer. So I want to make sure that I use that at least a couple times over the next two weeks. All right, so that is a total of eight products. And I just feel like eight is the magic number for me. It's enough to where I'm able to really use all these products a good handful of times and not feel overwhelmed between this and my project pan. Really excited to start using these products and report back to you with my thoughts on them in a couple of weeks. But otherwise, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. If you enjoyed this video, I will leave my Makeup Basket playlist linked down below if you want to binge watch more videos like this. But otherwise, I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you've not already. And I will talk to you again very soon in my next video. Bye.